So we're gonna go over the strategy of asset location. Most people have certainly heard of asset allocation, which is making sure that you have a very broadly diversified portfolio, an appropriate mix for your situation of stocks, bonds, cash, etc. And certainly within stocks, there's multiple subsectors, US stocks, international stocks, and within bonds, there's different types of bonds as well. So understanding your specific situation, your risk tolerance, your goals and objectives, is gonna help you come up with the appropriate asset allocation. But something that often gets overlooked is asset location. And what that is, is that's taking a look at the different asset classes you have and making sure that you're holding them in the right accounts. Right, three different types of investment accounts. There's tax-free, which is gonna be things like your Roth IRA your taxable pool, which is anything not in retirement accounts, and then the tax deferred, which is traditional IRAs, 401ks, TSP, etc. Each of these types of accounts are treated differently from a tax perspective. The Roth accounts grow tax-free, withdrawals come out completely tax-free. Taxable pool, growth on that account, as long as you've held your assets for at least a year, growth is subject to long-term capital gains tax, which is not as good as free, but typically better than ordinary income, which is what the tax deferred pool is subject to. Any withdrawals from your IRAs, 401ks, et cetera, are gonna be subject to the highest tax rates, ordinary income rates. So when you're looking at your overall asset allocation, different investments have different growth potential over time. At the very basic level, we know that stocks outperform bonds over time. So when you're building your portfolio, you wanna factor in not only that overall mix, but which of those slices are held in which different accounts. An example and a way to look at that in practice is here, right? So you've got all three different types of accounts. The taxable is that dark blue, the tax deferred is the brighter blue, and then the tax free is the gray. So you'd have all your different asset classes, and it's then focusing on which ones you hold where. So in this example, you can see the core bonds, the global bonds are mainly held in your IRAs. The more aggressive asset classes, emerging markets, small companies, those are concentrated in the Roth. And then you've also got the more growth oriented asset classes in the taxable pool as well. And the goal is certainly for your overall portfolio to grow over time without taking on more risk than is necessary for your situation. But in addition to that, it's ensuring that if more of the growth can happen in the places where you pay no or less tax, then more of that overall growth is yours to keep, right? So you can take on the same amount of risk that you otherwise would, but more of the growth is stays in your pocket. In addition to figuring out where you're gonna hold everything through this asset location process, you also wanna have a strategy for how you're gonna rebalance the portfolio. You don't wanna have emotional investment decisions, you don't wanna have knee-jerk reactions to the market fluctuation that's inevitable. So if you can put a process in place for when you would rebalance, that's gonna limit the decision-making that comes into play. In this example, you're looking at every single one of these asset classes is gonna have a specific target allocation within your portfolio. Here, one of them is 10% of your portfolio. And we're looking at a 20% deviation on either side of the target. So 20% of 10 is two. So in this case, what that means is that if this particular asset class started growing faster than some of the others, and now it's taking up 12% of your portfolio, well, that's the upper limit. So now that would prompt you to go in and rebalance and you would sell the things that are now above their target allocations, use those dollars to buy more of the things that are under their target allocations. And that ensures that regardless of the ups and downs in the market, you're maintaining a consistent level of risk across your portfolio. So having the rebalancing strategy really helps balance out your location strategy, right? You build your portfolio and now you have a way to actually keep the process in force. Are you prepared for retirement? Sign up for a free financial assessment with a certified financial planner professional from Pure Financial Advisors. 